Hi and welcome to Python tutorial. Uh, this very tutorial is all about developing uh, multiplication tables. You might be wondering how I've managed to get everything in order. I've used some component known as uh, escape characters. But uh, what I would do now is just take you guys into the Python development environment and I show you how I've put together this. So let's start another program entirely. So to start with, I'm going to print as follows. Ask Py to print the following. Whatever you want to print, you must put it inside a speech mark. You have the speech mark right here. So I will start by tab, tab, tab. So that means give me some tab to the right so my title which is supposed to be multiplication tables there so the next thing I want to do is backslash n it means new line and I'll say for loop for i in range for i in range 1 to 13 if I decide to print out what I've just done now let me print that out so that you guys see what will happen for i in range 1 to 13, if I say i right there, what will happen is it's going to print vertically. Let's save that first and just give it a try. Okay, if I print this out now, we have an error. Why? Because I forgot my column. So let's do it again. Run the program there. That's what you get. But in this case, I want it to be horizontally, not vertically. So for us to get it horizontally, all I need to do is add a comma right there and enter the command end equals enter that. Okay, that is what's generated the tab you see in between. So if I run it again, what you say is horizontal spacing of number 1 to 12 horizontal spacing of 1 to 12 let me draw your attention to one thing you see here I said 1 comma 13 supposing I take that one off and if I run my program check out what's going to happen draw your own conclusion you see I ended up with 0 1 2 3 up to 12 okay. and that was why I decided to add 1 comma 13 so the range between 1 and 13 so which is 1 to 12 okay let's continue the next thing I would do is just to print just to print print a vertical space right there I will also include print lines right there for me so that's my line right there that might be enough I don't know okay then I will ask the system to add a new line right here which means it goes underneath and now I'm just going to use for loop now let's just copy all of that and paste it right here so instead of I, I will change that to J. That's letter J. Change this. I would also need another for loop to get my inner loop. It's more or less like what is more or less like what you would call a nested loop, and that would be K, the variable K. So what I'll then do is J multiplied by K, and that's all there is to it. But just one more thing underneath here I want to print out I just need a space in the new line okay the next thing is uh, don't forget to indent make sure you indent it else you end up with an error you can see the indentation has got to do with the nested loop so that is all there is to it so let's run the program right now save run it and there guys and that's how you develop a multiplication timetable look at that 
it's beautiful so I'm just gonna call it the end of this brief tutorial I suppose you all enjoy it and uh, you all have a nice day now bye for now